Many of us suffer from minor to severe pain due to everyday living and work. Much of the pain is centered in our neck, shoulders, back, low back, and a new problem due to computers, that of carpal tunnel syndrome or chronic pain to the wrists and forearms. Neck pain can be recurring and sometimes the only relief is that of expensive massage therapy. The Tianchi Acupoint Treasure can both relieve the pain and prolong the period between episodes, thus allowing the neck time to strengthen and heal. We need to choose our acupoints carefully. There are seven points to work on to start the healing process and begin the relief from pain. Remember that the neck, shoulders, and back are interrelated and in many cases, for best results one needs to work on several areas to assist in the healing and pain relief. Our first point is the Wang Gu, which is located on the back of the head, just behind the ear, in the depression below the mastoid or the base of your skull. The Feng Qi point is found on the nape of the neck, back of the head, at the low edge of the occipital bone in the depression between the nutator and cusillaris. This is the same point that we used in relieving headache. The next point is the Tian Shu, found near the same area as the Feng Qi in the depression of the posterior hairline on the lateral aspect of the trapezius muscle, approximately two centimeters or one inch lateral to the midline of the posterior hairline. The Jin Sheng Shu is located on the back of the body, right side, just below the neck, about four centimeters or one and a half inches lateral to and below the acanthi of the seventh cervical vertebrae. The next point to locate is the Jin Wai Shu. Again, this point is located on the back of the body, below the neck, approximately two inches or five centimeters to the right and one inch or three centimeters down below the acanthi of the 11th thoracic vertebrae. Next, locate the Jin Jing point on top of the left shoulder blade close to the middle of your blade or the anterior superior to the acromion, midway between Dai Zhu and the acromion. The Jin Yu is on the back of the shoulder near the point where your shoulder and arm meet or on the upper portion of the deltoid muscle in the depression anterior inferior to the acromion. You have located all the acupoints for the neck. Let's apply the method. Acting on these acupoints by pressing manipulation and by scanning along meridians repeated three to five times. Using scraping manipulation along the neck to the shoulder and the back with light and moderate intensity. Use this method once a day or once every other day until the pain is gone. It's a miraculous um, instrument. Um, if anybody has pain anywhere in their body, uh, all they have to do is just try it and uh, they will find it, uh, relief and they will find that they don't have to uh, take drugs or go for physio or all the, all the normal things that they do that they can just actually, they don't have to be experts on it. They can just use it and it works. Every day we carry briefcases, handbags, knapsacks, books, papers, laptops, you name it. And that can cause stress and strain on your shoulders. Shoulder pain can be constant with no relief, but by simply using the Tianchi Acupoint Treasure, we can remedy this problem. Now let's choose the proper acupoints. There are three acupoints to locate in the shoulder area. The Jin Yu is on the back of the shoulder near the point where your shoulder and arm meet or on the upper portion of the deltoid muscle in the depression of the anterior inferior to the acromion. The Jin Liu is located on the shoulder in the depression posterior interior to the acromion. The Jin Jian is located at the posterior interior to the shoulder joint, one inch above the posterior end of the auxiliary fold or near the armpit. Now that we've located our acupoints, let's proceed with the method. Pressing manipulation on these acupoints and then points through points use a needling manipulation. This is repeated five times for five to ten seconds on each acupoint. Then using scraping manipulation around the shoulder with light intensity. 
If the symptoms are severe, do this one to three times a day. Uh, I've had maybe a shoulder ache and I'll use the acupoint treasure and, and use it on there and, and actually forget about, oh my gosh, the ache's gone, you know? So it, it, the product's work is absolutely fantastic. Many jobs require people to sit for long periods of time at their desks. We can sit in a poor position and lift improperly, or just by simply bending over, this can cause problems to our lower back. And when your back goes, so does your ability to function. With some of us bedridden for days. Chiropractic care or massaging the area can help, but it can also be very costly. And I know most people don't have a whirlpool at home. So by using the Tianchi Acupoint Treasure, you can get help with pain relief and movement. Let's take a look now and see which acupoints are needed. There are four acupoints to locate. The Zhenzhou is located on the lower back, one inch or two and a half centimeters to the lower border of the second lumbar vertebrae, or just above the buttocks on the edge of the spine. Our next acupoint is the Dai Zhenzhou, which is on the lower back, approximately five centimeters or two inches below the Zhenzhou acupoint, or to the lower border of the fourth lumbar vertebrae. The Wai Chung is located on the inside of the arm at the midpoint of the transverse crease, or in layman's terms, where you bend at the elbow, between the tendons of biceps and semitendinosus muscles. The Yao Tong Den is located on the back of the hand. There are two points on either side of where the bones of the index and ring finger make a V. Now that we know where the acupoints are, let's look at the method that we need to use. Pressing manipulation or kneading manipulation on these acupoints, one minute on each of the acupoints, and it may be repeated three to five times. Then, once a day with scraping manipulation on the lower back for 10 minutes with light to moderate intensity. Well, I work in computers, and that's make it so hard when you're there sitting all day. I suffered a severe back pain all the time. So in one of the demonstrations of the Tianzi product, which is the acupoint treasure, I volunteered myself to have my back done with amazing results. An upset stomach, indigestion, or abdominal pain can be caused by many things, but there's only a few things to help relieve the pain. Let's choose some acupoints right now to help solve the problem. There are three acupoints to remember. The Zhang Wan is located on the upper part of the abdomen, about three to four inches or seven to ten centimeters above the navel, right on the anterior midline of the abdomen, just above the umbilicus. Our next acupoint is the Zhu San Li anterior to the outer side of the shank or back of the leg at the knee, one inch or three centimeters below the lower border of the patella or close to the anterior crest of the tibia. The Nai Quan is found on the inside of the forearm, one inch or two and a half centimeters above the transverse crease of the wrist, between the tendons of the palmaris longus and flexor radialis muscles. Now that we've located these acupoints, let's apply the method. Pressing manipulation or rotation manipulations, press on each of the acupoints for one to three minutes or repeat the pressing until the alleviation of the symptoms and the disappearance of pain. And I know that there is a pain there because there is a blockage. So by using my acupoint, I know that I will release that block and it, the, the flow of blood will continue and remove the pain.